welcome to our special show where you help us choose the seven wonders of India. And in our search for these seven wonders, we have reached Orissa. Orissa, a land of beaches, a land of temples and a land of white tiger. And today we are at Udayagiri and Khandagiri Caves. the hill of sunrise and Khandagiri the broken hills. Unique storehouse of history of the region and its ancient ensemble of rock cut architecture, art and religion. Dating back to the 2nd century BC, these caves were retreats for travelling Buddhist and Jain missionary monks in the mighty kingdoms of Magadh and Kalinga. Udayagiri is the hill on the right and the access to its 18 caves are these flight of steps or this handicapped friendly ramp, a new addition of a tourism savvy country. The largest and the most beautiful cave here is Rani Gufa. It's a double storied structure cut out to form an inverted U. The walls are adorned with beautiful panels and sculpture. These wall motifs on religious and royal scenes run all through Udayagiri as if while walking one is turning pages of Kalinga history. The central wing of the four cells show the march of a victorious king through his kingdom into his capital. In the six caves on the upper story, a channel drainage system gives us peek into the ancient engineering. is Hathi Gufa or Elephant Cave, a large natural cavern, architecturally plain and could almost be skipped except it contains a 117 line inscription from 4th century BC. The inscription details the expeditions and exploits of the mighty king of Kalinga, Kharavel. Chota Hathi Gufa, the facade is a beautiful carving of six elephants. In Ganesh Gufa, a figure of Ganesh right at the back. The Ba Gufa is shaped like a tiger's mouth with a distended upper jaw, full of teeth forming the roof of the veranda and the gullet forming the entrance. And at the Sarp Gufa, you've guessed right, the snake is the presiding image. Across the road, hidden in the green foliage, is Khandagiri. We make our way past the Simian natives, up the stairs. Here too, the animal imagery is most prominent. This is Tota Gufa or Parrot Caves. There are 23 other caves here. Unfortunately, you are only allowed to peep into them. They have been close to the tourists to save them from further damage. Most interesting of them is the cave dedicated to the 24 Tirthankars or Apostles of Jainism. All of them carved on monolithic stones. On the way down we meet this local artist spending his days capturing the caves on his canvas, filling up the unseen bits with his imagination. Above the caves, on the hilltop, is the 18th century Jain temple, a temple of the Tirthankars. It offers a panoramic view of the place. These caves tell us about a time when the people of Orissa saw a great period under the rule of Kaling emperors. The inscriptions on the walls tell us great tales about valor and charity. So if you also like your history on the rocks, then you must vote for these caves.